Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. I should have posted this a few days ago, but I have a few different video projects going on that you're probably waiting for, and I had to get to those first. So, this is a short video on the results from the radar challenge that I participated in on April 2nd, 2016. So stick with me and let's check out those results together. All right, let's go. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Just a quick note on field training before we get started. There are two amateur radio programs of this kind that I participate in. The first is Radar, or Rapid Deployment Amateur Radio, and the second is SOTA, Summits on the Air. I think I'll link a blog post here that talks about using these types of amateur radio programs for field training, and why I think you should get involved if you're interested in emergency field communications. But enough about that, let's move on. The Radar Challenge was an absolute blast. I mean, don't get me wrong, it had its challenges, but uh, it was an incredible experience. This time around, we operated Radar Mobile. Driving to the first location, setting up the gear, making five contacts before tearing down the gear and heading off to the next location. I made a very silly mistake during the setup of the F-Loop antenna. I reduced the efficiency of the antenna by failing to tighten the screws well enough. Rookie mistake, but I won't make it again. The second rookie mistake I made was blowing a fuse in my FT817 power cable and not having a replacement fuse with me to repair it. Eventually I remembered the small bit of aluminum foil that I carry in my wallet for such emergencies. But even with my rookie mistakes, I was able to make two contacts, one with Golf 1, India Papa Uniform, and the other with Uniform Alpha 9, Fox Yankee. Having had enough of those rookie mistakes and frustrations, we decided to move on to location number two. And this time I decided to set up the basic impost, that's the hybrid micro, the wire element as a counterpoise, and the mill whip. Before getting started with PSK-63 again, we sent out a whisper beacon on 30 meters. We were able to reach all of Europe, as well as Australia and New Zealand. Once we got started, we quickly racked up five QSOs on PSK-63. India Whiskey 3, India Echo Alpha, Hotel Alpha Zero Bravo Whiskey, Romeo November 4, Hotel Echo Papa, Romeo Alpha 4, Hotel Lima, and Romeo Kilo 4, Papa Romeo. And with those five QSOs, we moved on to the third location, which was absolutely abysmal. In fact, it was so bad, we took a few pictures and decided to go and get some dinner, have a sauna, and head for the fourth location, which was a fixed location. Operating from home is always easier than operating in the field, but I didn't want to make it too easy. So this time I used the MPOS in infed configuration. Hanging one end of the long wire from my tower and the other end uh, with the hybrid micro just outside the window of my workshop. Taking advantage of the height afforded to me by the tower, I was able to rack up 10 QSOs on PSK-63 before calling it a day. If you've been with the channel for a while, then you'd already know that uh, a big part of the channel is digital communications for emergency or disaster comms. So based on that previous experience and training, I had a sneaking suspicion that PSK-63 would be a far more effective mode for this radar challenge than voice or other non-real-time data modes. In fact, based on this radar challenge, I can say that when my antennas were set up correctly, making contacts with PSK-63 was actually very easy. So based on this, I think it's safe to say you're going to see a lot more data mode communications on the channel. And that brings us to the end of the video. Remember guys, if you think we're doing a great job on the channel, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know someone who you think might enjoy this video, please share it with them. With that, I say rock and roll, and thanks for watching. Ciao.